Hello and welcome to another EVE Online video with Cyrus Althor and today's video is going to be a little bit different it's not really about the gameplay as such but more about uh, an idea for a challenge that I had that I'm going to refer to as the EVE Geography Challenge so what is the EVE Geography Challenge? it is your ability to memorize as much of the EVE map as you possibly can and all of its details so if I hit F10 let's have a look at the map this is the new map, it, there's actually an older version of this map, but this one's prettier to look at. Now Eve's map is huge, there are something like 5,200 traditional star systems that players can reach via stargates. There are a further 2,500 or so wormhole systems on top of that, that can only be accessed by wormholes, and these aren't displayed on the map because they're unknown space. And there's also a couple of, or actually three regions I think, way up here in the north that are accessible via Stargates but only for CCP employees so we'll, we'll leave those out of the equation. So focusing on known space, uh, the question is how well can you memorize the space that you live in? Now typically most players live in one or two regions, they spend most of their time in one or two regions, that's where their assets are stored with all their ships. Uh, some players travel around a lot more than that and what tends to happen is over time you become very familiar with the region and the systems around the region uh, that you live in most of the time. Simply through exploration you'll, you'll become very familiar with the system names. So level one of the EVE Geography Challenge is can you remember every system name in the region that you live in? Not too bad. Not too bad for any player who plays regularly. I reckon most people could do that. Where it gets more difficult is if you try to expand that into several regions surrounding the one that you live in. Because at that point you've got to deal with memorizing hundreds if not more system names. And that's, that's going to be challenging for, for most players I think. Now where it gets even trickier is if you expand into Nullsec the system names in Nullsec don't use human, normal human looking names, they all use these pseudo, -gen pseudo randomly generated uh, duplets or triplets of uh, letters and numbers. Now these look like gobbledygook if you're unfamiliar with Eve, but if you live in Nullsec you actually become very familiar with these system codes and over time you can memorize an entire region quite easily. In my case I live here up in uh, in Declan and I know most of Declan uh, very well and the symbols just yeah they they, be, they just become points on a map and it's not really a big deal um, however if you were going to attempt to memorize all of the map all of the map including Nullsec that's going to be a real challenge because it's very easy to mix up all of these system names they they all kind of mix together they all look very familiar in fact CCP have been quite evil in some cases they have some systems adjacent to one another with very very familiar uh, very similar looking names rather and that can catch players out especially if they're in a fight and they might warp to the wrong gate because they, they they get the they mistake one name for another one anyway so so level one of this challenge is memorizing a region you're in level two is memorizing beyond that to several regions level three would be to memorize everything and I think perhaps level four, and this is where it gets really tough, is if I were to name any random system in EVE, would you be able to tell me all of the systems that it's connected to? Now, most systems are connected to at least two other systems. In this case, I've, I've just chosen uh, one system called Andol, quite random, and it's actually a dead end pocket. It's only connected to one other system but most have at least two or three I would say on average and the ability to memorize all of the connections that makes this significantly harder challenge I think uh, especially beyond the region that you normally live in because the number of combinations is absolutely enormous and I think you'd have to resort to some pretty advanced memory techniques to be able to do that so for example if I chose the text me system here, if you were trying to memorize text me, you might associate that name with something in real life, something quite dramatic or very easy to recall visually. 
through a sound or something like that. So I might say text me sounds like Texas, maybe I, I picture Tex-Mex food or something like that. Who knows? Uh, anything that has a strong association with something you're familiar with can help you to remember something like that. And I think that applies here too. So I think uh, this would be a really tough challenge, especially memorizing all the connections. It's not something I'm attempting myself, by the way. I just thought it was an interesting idea and I just wanted to share that here. So that's it really, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.